Hello everyone, welcome to Beast Battlegrounds, I'm Bobby B, and today I'll be looking at the Valiverse Action Force Series 3.1 upgrade gear sets for the uh, the different characters we've seen. So we got one for Kill Switch, Eclipse, and Pandora. Pandora does have a 1 in 3 uh, variant for a, a bloody head. We'll, we'll get with that when we talk about Pandora. Um, we'll probably do, yeah, we'll do Pandora first. So they come in these boxes, now they're called Upgrade Gear Packs, Upgrade Gear, I don't know why they're really called Upgrade Gear, you think that that's kind of like a condescending name, it makes them sound like the original figure's boring and stuff, if anything it should be called just like, I don't know, just character packs or like, I don't know, armament, loadout kit, something, something different, I don't know, but we get some artwork of Pandora on the front, if you guys know, have followed my channel for a little bit, you guys know how I feel about the Pandora figure, so we'll just... That's a different video. Go go check it out if you want. If not, we'll uh, we'll just dive into here. Get that artwork on the side. Bottom. It's got the red for the Series 3. Action Force. Action Force on top. Then on the, as I throw it across the room here. Then on the back, it's worth one action point. You get everything that comes in the whole loadout. Extra head, two pistols, some blast effects. The new smoke effects. New LMG. Uh, the machete, which I believe is kind of new. And then... Uh, some Series 3 armor that we've already seen before. So let's dive in. Everyone knows Pandora. I don't think we need to come come back to that dead horse. Vala loves her. She's his favorite character he's created. Um, I think that she's a joke and her story is just trash. And there's there's no space in this uh, this military universe for a, a mobster that's. I don't know, heartbroken, whatever you want to call it, on some weird revenge path, but we get similar armor we've seen before, Series 3, so this is our, this is Kill Switch's armor that she came with, um, originally, this is the new, the new armor, so it's just repainted up, it's, it keeps her tan vest, but I guess this time it's, you know, zipped up, whatever you want to call it, and then it's got the, uh, the black armor plate on the front here with this little demon logo there you go demon logo right there and then instead of the uh, magazine pouches on the side we got the holsters otherwise it keeps that same tan vest and green web gear and then just the black armor plates I, I'm not too keen on that that color scheme especially I don't know, the black and the light tan, it just doesn't seem to go too well for me. And then you got Pandora right there. Then you get a all-black belt. If this wants to focus. There we go. All-black belt. Then a black and red knife. I'll sheath that back in. I'm not going to struggle with the figures. You guys know what it's like with Series 3 figures. Um, Kill Switch was really nice, but jump back to that. You get uh, two black and red pistols. They look pretty good. Porthole for blast effects. You get that machete. That's fun, but she doesn't really have anywhere to, to place it, but I mean, unless you're having to run around with it. You get the, I believe it's the XM250. It's the new SIG LMG. It's going to be replacing the 249 saws here in the future in real life. Um, red and black looks good. I believe it's part of one of the new weapons packs also that's part of Series 3. Um, golf, I believe? No, I, I got golf. Uh, golf. Egg. One of those ones. Echo, maybe, I think. But red and black looks good. It has the drum. The drum comes off. And then the rounds are detachable as well. So that looks good. Uh, it has the movable bipod. And then it also has a collapsed bipod it just clips into the front there's a little seat clip you get the new smoke effects that look fantastic simple simple unlike the uh, the classified ones the classified smoke effect is probably the only good effect they have and then you get your Pandora head making her signature little licking her lips thing but her eyes look goofy as shit I can't tell if that's just the way the light's hitting it or not 
yeah, there you go. It kind of looks better without the light shining on it. There you go. And then obviously the uh, exact same hairpiece just right there. So let's see if we can uh, swap this out without popping any neck joints out. All right, it's not fully on, but there you can see it on the figure. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not heating her up to to work it to get it to get it going. I I don't know why that's still a thing. We're two years into this line, and that's just how they want things done. I guess I don't I don't know. It's pain in the ass when you have swappable parts, and then you gotta break out a hair dryer if you want to mess with them or heat up some water. So that's Pandora's kit. Next is gonna be Eclipse. We get some nice artwork on the front. Same artwork on the side. Red for Sears 3 Action Force. You get the loadout. We get the same rifle we've seen with Gemini and Warpath Eclipse. We get a new rifle, some blast effects, new smoke effect, three mags, Maxim with the slide back, and then the uh, Pandora vest, but in Eclipse Action Force Blue. So we get we have regular Eclipse. I think I got it with a, just a random G36 here. Same blues. Just this one's just a more of a, a molly vest instead of the armor that we've gotten before. Two magazine pouches on the side. On the sides. Come on. There we go. We get the yelling head that we got with uh, Warpath Eclipse. Just this one doesn't have any paint on it. Same hair pieces. We're not going to go through the whole head swap thing because I'm, I'm not breaking another Valiverse figure on camera. That was frustrating enough. They did replace it, so I'm thankful for that, but what are, what are we doing here? All right, let's get this out of the way. You got your Maxim. The, it's a pistol with an integrated suppressor. It's It sounds good on paper. It looks cool, but it's overused, and it's I can't believe he's still dropping them here. Um, but you get the slide locked back. It's just, they're huge for the female figures. They're just huge. You get that same uh, rifle we got with Warpath, Eclipse, and Gemini. This one, this time it's in, it's got tan. It looks really yellow on camera. I'm not sure why. You got your silver bolt in there. It's out of the chamber. Porthole for blast effects. This, this is a fun looking weapon. I wish I had a better, maybe a better sight on top of it. And then obviously... Removable magazine. Then you get the uh, the black mag pull mags. We get this little. Uh, I don't know what this is called. I want to say a PDW, but I feel like that's just a made up name for this weapon when it was in Battlefield. But got some grips on it. Got the silver bolt. Same thing. Black mag pull mag slips up into the uh, magazine well. Slap it up in there. Good to go. And then obviously the new... The new... Whoop. No port for blast effects in that one, but you got the uh, the blast effect that goes over the... The barrel port. We'll go rotate back to this one for the, uh, the smoke effect. Smoke effect looks great. I'm excited for it. Um... There you go. So that's going to be Eclipse. Get her out of the way here. And then next up, Kill Switch. You got your pretty solid art on the front. Same art on the side. Series 3 Action Force on the so other side. Action Force top, UPC. And the loadout. So this time we get a green plate carrier, which is new to 3.1. We get a helmet. The uh, Peltor's headset that connects into the helmet, a like a 50, Barrett 50 cal, clap stand, extended stand, nods for the helmet, blast effect for the 50 cal, smoke effect, muzzle flash, and Maxim with the slide cocked back, and then obviously the, the yelling kill switch head. I already went through and switched kill switch, and I think she looks 100 times better in the plate carrier. 
opposed to her green uh, Action Force armor. Same shade of green, so shouldn't look too different, but still looks good. Oops, I bumped my camera here. You get your Molly on the tap, tapping the figure to try to get the figure to focus. You get your Molly in the back. She looks good. Um, she comes with the helmet, and I don't know if you, if you guys see my uh, my Spec Ops gear pack video. I don't know what's going on with these helmets. She can't wear the helmet or the the headpiece. The hairpiece is just too. It's there. Um, same with the screaming head. Screaming head looks pretty good. I might actually switch switch her here. She I don't know why it came with the helmet. I mean she has her, her ski mask head, I guess. You could grab her ski mask head out and throw it on. Yeah, you could throw it on the uh the ski mask head if the earpieces work. But they flare out. So you could have her like that. But no magazines, so you gotta swap the mags from the uh the regular release into the new vest. Because this one doesn't come with them. It comes with the gray Maxim. With the slide lock back. We just covered the Maxim. And then we got this bad boy. The 50 cal. It looks great. It's in that... I don't want to say kill switch gray, I guess we'll go with. Um, I think I actually got the bipod on backwards here. Just a little C, uh, C clip in the front. Would that be right? Got those grooves in the back side. Oh, it looks great. And then we got the giant blast effect that ports into the front. Um, it's a little... It's like a step back for Valiverse weapons with how flimsy that barrel feels. It almost looks like it's bowing on camera. Oh, that's pretty good. I wouldn't leave that in there too long, though. And then the other blast effects poured in also. Get that to focus. Come on. There you have it. And then it comes with a collapsible uh, bipod also. But it looks good. Definitely an awesome, awesome piece. Um, definitely one of the reasons why I wanted it. But overall, there you have them. There's the upgrade kits. Did you guys get them? Guess skip out on them. Um, I just I don't I don't know if I would have called them the upgrade kit because like Eclipse is a solid figure as it was. If anything, you're getting a screaming head and two extra guns. Um, this open vest is kind of boring, but it is what it is. Um, Kill switch is I'd say is an upgrade kit. She comes with that what the the ass val or whatever the hell it's called originally, and that's pretty a fun gun. Plus that G36. And then Pandora's Pandora, so, um, yeah, she's there. But, did you guys pick these up? Did you guys skip out on them? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, load up, grab your kit. I'll see you in the Battlegrounds.